We're at the Work Truck Show. My name is Todd Bow. I'm the president of Roush Clean Tech. I'm standing in front of a beautiful 2019 F750 box truck equipped with a 6.8 liter V10 three valve engine, uh, powered by our uh, patented liquid propane injection fuel system. And uh, what's different about this truck from previous trucks we've built over the last dozen years is this is equipped with a uh, updated calibration and a new catalyst to get us to the lowest NOx optional NOx certification that Carbono offers, which is 0.02 grams per brake horsepower hour. Uh, very excited about this, obviously with all of the VW funding that's now in the streets, there's a lot of awareness around impact of NOx on lives and health of, of, of kids and communities which trucks like these operate. So we've spent uh, millions of dollars developing this technology and standing in front of you here is, uh, this is powered by that V10 engine I referenced, but 50 usable gallons of fuel. So we're gonna talk about uh, well over 200 miles of range. So that's the beauty of, of our technology in propane is that we're not compromising the way a fleet would operate this truck, what this asset needs to do on a daily basis. Uh, we're minimal impact to payload. Uh, obviously we talked about range, horsepower and torque remain the same and then because of our connection with Ford and their QVM program, uh, the warranty in the base truck remains in place and then we warrant the uh, base fuel system components. So we're seeing a lot of interest from fleets across the country, not just California. Uh, we talked about the funding that's available. One of the reasons we're really supportive and believe in the propane uh, mission is because we've one, got a ton of fuel, it's domestic, it's clean, but the economics of it really play out for our customers. So whether there's funding or not, uh, we don't want that to slow down the process because even without funding, the, the total cost ownership picture for our fleets is significantly positive, even at today's fuel prices for gasoline and diesel. In 2018, we certified at 0.02 grams for brake horsepower for NOx. Uh, as the readers are aware, uh, CARB has three optional standards. You got your, your, your 0.2 grams, 0.1, 0.05 and 0.02, so we meet the lowest level of NOx that CARB has laid out, which gets us to that near zero category that you hear sometimes with natural gas. Uh, and we think uh, uh, there's a place for all the technologies out there, but because of the uh, positive total cost of ownership from a propane perspective, when you can combine the economics with the admissions uh, advantage we now have with this engine, with this vehicle, it puts our fleet owners in a really positive position for making an impact on their bottom line of their business. The next stage for us is really combining the 0.02 NOx engine with a renewable fuel source. So the propane industry is working really hard on uh, marrying the two together and we're gonna probably by late 19 have a couple of pilot cases in California. Uh, the fuel is being produced in North America today. There's a company called Renewable Energy Group uh, that's in Louisiana that's producing about 3 million gallons a year. So we have the supply, we have the engine. Now it's the process of marrying that together and understanding all the economics. But uh, the, the folks in California that talk about near zero, so we now have that solution. Renewable fuel source plus 0.02 NOx engine uh, gives California what they're looking for. Now, obviously they're more pointed at electric today, but we think this is probably more mainstream, more commercially viable than the electric technology is, which over time as battery costs come down, that will obviously uh, become more commercially viable. But we have a solution right now to California's air quality uh, issues with this 0.02 NOx engine and a renewable fuel source.